All right, Royals, we are diving right in. As you can tell by the title, this is a clean and decorate with me featuring my formal living room. We are going to give this space the sultry harvest theme that I am going with for this fall season. Guys, I'm excited about this video for a number of reasons. Number one, change is always good and the fall season represents that change. Number two, you guys, today's video is sponsored in part by Hoover Vacuum Cleaner, you guys. I cannot wait to share with you the amazing detailing that the Hoover Vacuum Cleaner allows me in my space. But until we get to that portion, let's get to the details of this design. As you can see, I am removing my gallery wall, just switching it up a bit. I wanted to remove some of the mirror pieces to soften up the look in the space. So here I am simply removing all of the old hardware that the pictures were hung on. And I'm going in with just some wall spackle to cover and patch in any of the holes that were created from that actual gallery. You guys, this is a quick and easy fix. Now I will take that off camera. I did do some touch up painting just to give the space a nice refresh. I didn't want to bore you with those details. However, did want to state that it had been done. So now let's get into it. You guys, I am going to switch it up a bit using these panels I picked up from Home Goods. They are a glittered hand painted wall decal and I absolutely love them. It, I got three pieces here and I just want to, again, soften up the look to take away some of the shimmer and shine from my space. I feel like sometimes when you do too much of the same element, it gives your space a harsh feel. So to soften that up, I'm going to use these glittered canvas arts to just change up the vibe a little bit and usher in that sultry harvest theme that I'm going for for the season. And I'm just flipping the photo around just to change up the pattern of the design because they are identical and by simply switching the two on the end upside down it gives it a little bit of more interest and dimension here i am simply dropping down the photo because i want to follow the lines of my camelback sofa so i'm going to hang them in a slightly elevated look the center piece as you can tell is a little higher than the ones on the end again just carrying following the line of my actual sofa if it was a straight line sofa i would probably do it straight across but because it isn't i want to follow that line and just add a little bit more visual interest to my overall look now that i have them hung to my specifications you guys i have been hanging photos for a number of years in my world of home stage and you just learn to kind of eyeball it and get what you need done without doing a lot of mundane measuring and taping and all of that good stuff but here i am simply switching things around i felt like switching changing and rearranging not only the wall space but just some of the furniture pieces in the space and you go you know me no video is complete without a little bit of dancing i love to keep a clean home and dancing to some nice music helps me to unwind and it's like my therapy so i have these wall pieces but i don't know where they're going to go i am simply taking my little bar cart over you guys i love this card it kind of gives me that old hollywood um what was it called? The Little Shaker Girls? I love that look. So here I am simply just packing away some things that I have either had cleaned or been purchasing for previous seasons or past seasons. So I'm just packing those things away, getting them out of the way for my styling. And if you're wondering about my totes, I purchased them either from Walmart or Amazon. They are the 105 quart totes with the latch hook on there and i really love those they're good for storing and as you can see i can get quite a bit stored in there of course the lid won't fit with the box but for the most part everything else would fit in that lid and i can move on to the next project so here i am switching off the table i want to move the coffee tables so not only am i moving the coffee tables but as you can see i'm switching out the lamps your girl is just feeling all type of changing and rearranging in this space i'm moving those over to the buffet or the console table just again giving my look a totally my space a totally different look you don't have to spend a lot to give your space a different look simply by switching or rearranging some things you already have pulling things from other rooms those are great cost-effective ways to give, give your space a nice 
new look and feel. And I'm going ahead and cleaning everything up as I'm moving it around. These lamps, you guys, are from Home Goods. I simply added some champagne lampshades on that I already had just to give it again another look, new look and feel. I am now using these pumpkins that I pulled out of my attic from Burlington, you guys. You guys know I'm still on the hunt for my pumpkin, do my pumpkin and fall decor, but I'm using what I have just to kind of make do for the time being. And I'm actually loving the look and feel. The coffee tables, if you're wondering, they are from Ashley's Home Store. They are a mirrored and metallic wood finish. I absolutely love them. And I think they coordinate beautifully with this coffee table. I picked up the coffee table from Overstock. And I, guys, I will link everything that I can link in my description box. Pulling it out now, getting ready to style. Guys, this space doesn't get a lot of um, traffic, so I'm simply just flipping over the pillows. There's no debris underneath the vacuum. So now for the fun part, you guys. This is what brings a space to life. As you can see, I have a nice neutral backdrop. So any color I introduce will definitely pop against this neutral setting. And you guys, this beautiful black faux fur, they are the perfect foundations for my sultry harvest theme. I think black is so sophisticated and I'm continuing on with the black using these um, velvet pillow covers that I got from Amazon and I have inside a 26 by 26 down insert also from Amazon and it just gives it a nice full look and allows you to have that infamous karate chop to your pillows. Now let's continue on with the look you guys layering on some more beautiful pillows these metallic Champagne and silver pillows are from Target. I'm sorry, from TJ Maxx, and they are the perfect backdrop to any look. Now, these, you guys, are the piece of resistance for my sultry harvest look. I love these pillows. I love the pattern on them. I got them from Glass House Interior. And now moving on to the coffee table. Guys, the last video I uploaded was a lantern collaboration. And I shared with you several different coffee table designs. And this will share with you the look that I actually went for for this overall look. I had tough decisions to make because all of them honestly were beautiful and I could not go wrong. So keep watching and see which one I end up creating for this final look. The key to a luxe look and feel, you guys, is to layer on different textures, different metals, different elements, just to create a beautifully curated look that makes it look like you've been shopping for years. Over to the bench, you guys, I'm bringing more of those metallic pillows over. And in the center, keeping with that black theme, I'm using this Rodeo Home Pillow. And the final piece to close out this look, you guys, is bringing in the handy dandy hoover evolve pet bag you guys i absolutely love this cordless vacuum cleaner i have been in the market for one for quite some time and i knew that the hoover brand was a very very well made brand and that i already have the smart wash so this collaboration was absolutely perfect for me i knew that i was getting quality and i knew that it was going to be durable and withstand the wear and tear that i was going to give it in this space as you can see i am transferring from carpet to hard surfaces with ease and it's not any distraction or any disruption to the flow of the vacuum i am barely pushing it. you guys it's extremely lightweight it gets the job done and it is easy to store i absolutely love this vacuum cleaner if you are in the market for a cordless vac do yourself a favor and check out the evolve one i love it and what I end up with, you guys, is a sexy, sophisticated, sultry harvest that is fit for the king and queen. Sit back, relax, and enjoy an in-depth tour of this space. Trying to pick the pace up, we should take it slow. 
Baby, keep your focus. Don't you make me change my mind. If you love me, baby, don't you switch up the vibe. Baby, don't you. Baby, don't you. Baby, don't you switch up the vibe. Baby, don't you. Baby, don't you. Baby, don't you switch up the vibe. Will you take me on a trip? Always up and down and back and forth in merry go round. I just wanna get it right. But when you go left, I'm stuck here feeling left behind. Cause something went wrong, the signals got crossed. And now we're going different directions. Let's go where we were, when no one gets hurt. Baby, keep it right there, don't you stress the flow. Trying to pick the pace up, we should take it slow. Baby, keep your focus, don't you make me change my mind. If you love me, baby, don't you switch. Well, guys, what do you think? Did I create a sultry harvest theme or what? I am so loving the way this space came together. And if you have seen my previous video of my sultry harvest tablescape you will know that it flows beautifully together in this open concept space every element just layered one on top of the other just tells a sultry harvest theme you see nods of fall without it being overly decorated it is an unexpected yet very sophisticated color palette of the champagnes blacks and golds and i am absolutely thrilled with the end result Now I will tell you that my bar cart and my buffet or entryway table will be styled separately in another video for collaborations. And also, I'll go ahead and spoil the alert. I have added a few more elements to this space, although I am loving it. The designer in me is always looking for ways to improve. And so I felt like the walls needed a little bit more. So stick around to see what else I added into this space to complete my look. If you are new here and you see what you like and you like what you see, I want to invite you to hit that subscribe button and join the royal family. As you can see, we are full, and I do mean full, of inspiration, motivation, and so much creativity. Guys, we are growing by leaps and bounds. So to my tried and trues, I want you to know that I so love and appreciate you. And to all of my brand new boos, I want to take the time to welcome you to the royal family. Thank you for subscribing and joining the royal clan. Guys. I have, I'm sure you already know, several more videos to bring you in the Sultry Harvest theme. One being another collaboration, maybe even two. We've got some outdoor styling to do. We've got my kitchen styling to do. And you know, no seasonal styling is complete without a master bedroom or owner suite makeover. So be on the lookout for that. Guys, hit those notification bells and click them twice so that you never miss an upload because it is full of a sultry harvest vibe in this space. If you haven't already, I want to invite you to please connect with me on my other social media platforms. I can be found at Royalty Designs with Trevina on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. Now guys, until the next video, I want you all to please stay safe, wear your mask, wash your hands, do all the necessary things to keep you and your family love and loved ones safe and protected. I want you all to stay royal. Remember you are part of the royal priesthood and you should govern yourselves accordingly. And if you do nothing else, have yourself a blessed and most beautiful beautiful day now with all that being said i'm gonna kick back relax and enjoy this beautiful space i just created and i will see you guys in the next video bye